translation, New Living Translation. Hear now the word of God. Then I witnessed in heaven an event of great significance. I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant, and she cried out because of her labor pains and the agony of giving birth. Then I witnessed in heaven another significant event. I saw a large red dragon with seven heads and ten horns with seven crowns on his head. His tail swept away one third of the stars in the sky and he threw them to the earth. He stood in front of the woman as she was about to give birth, ready to devour her baby as soon as it was born. She gave birth to a son who was to rule all nations with an iron rod. And her child was snatched away from the dragon and was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where God had prepared a place to care for her for 1,260 1, days. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we'll have a selection from the daughters of the kings. Praise God. <laughs>
gracious to give us a greeting, and I'm going to read that letter to you now. To all of our wonderful, blessed, precious, adorable mothers, may God continue to keep all of you strong, faithful, loving, and caring forevermore. Always remember Matthew 6, 33. Remember also we can rejoice because Jesus continued to love us unconditionally and completely. Caring mothers, no matter what we are going through, Jesus Christ is our answer. Through horrible viruses and disease, remember we are covered by his precious blood. Remember always, do not fear because of his endless grace and mercy and Holy Ghost power, which he has given us. Power, love, and a sound mind. Remember Hebrews 13, 5. He promised he will never leave nor forsake us. Dearest mothers, only believe Jesus is forever with you. He will carry us through. Sincerely, Mother Hazel A. Taylor. For mothers by our own deacon daughters break out. Amen. All power, all glory, and all honor we want to all women and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We just want to thank God for all mothers, whether they're aunties. You know, it's not always because it's a biological mother that had a child because there's other mothers that are raising and people are raising up other children's yes. children, Father. God, I pray, Lord, as I was looking at the bulletin, and I want to thank God for those mothers who have gone on, but the memory still lingers on. Yes. So we just praise God. I ask, Lord, that you would move by your spirit this morning, Lord, that you touch every mother, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, we can't think about just ourselves, but thinking about what the mothers had to go through, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, I'm asking you, Lord, to touch every mother this morning, Lord, every aunt, Father, everyone that overshadows our children, Father, protect our children, Lord. God, it's nothing like having a mother, Lord, in our lives, Father. God, and I thank you, Lord, this morning, Father, and I give God the praise and glory for a mother, Lord. Even right now, I still have mothers in my life, but I'm not my biological mother, but it's my spiritual mothers, and some of my mothers are younger than I am, Father, but I thank God, and I thank God for Pastor Taylor coming back, who spent time with his mother, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I know he had a great time with her, and he didn't even probably want to leave, Father, from there. But Lord, I thank God you're bringing him back. But Father, we thank you, Lord, this morning for every mother, oh God, that assembles, Lord, every family that's coming around their mothers today, Lord. God, we want to give God the praises for our mothers, Father, the ones who have raised us up, Lord, to be the children of God that we are, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, even with the pain, even going to courts, Father, with the Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, trying to get families together, Lord, in the name of Jesus, praying before the Lord on behalf of our mothers, Father. Father, on behalf of our children and our families and what's going on. But Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for Jesus' mother, Lord. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we give you praise, Lord, this morning, Father. We give you glory, hallelujah. If you want to cry, cry, hallelujah. Because it's nothing like being a mother, Lord. It's nothing like having your mother, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, we can always go back and remember the good times, the beatings, the laughter, 
And so, Father, I thank you, Lord, this morning. And I give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch every mother today, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, I thank you. Even those right now who are in the hospital now, giving ready to give birth, Father. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus, Father. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you, Father. And we give you all the glory for all of our mothers, Lord. And I just want to say thank God for the men also, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Because we wouldn't be a mother, Lord, hallelujah, without the men, Father. So we thank you, Lord. And Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.
today uh, for the 35th district of hand. Don't come yet, I'm building up. <laughs> she's getting ready to jump. This is a church introduction, it takes time. Amen. <laughs> but she's been here and she's running and she's coming to the church with an open door to let you know about her. And so I've had a chance to meet with her and talk with her and I thank God for her. I know this was a hard day for her to come. I asked her to come because I don't get a big crowd on this day. Uh, but recently she lost her one. And so before she speaks, come up, come up, Crystal. Let's give God a praise for Crystal. I want to pray for her. Amen. Everyone who's lost their mother, please stand. Everyone who's lost their mother, please nice to go with you. Soft. All people who's lost their mother. Church, say amen. Amen. Crystal recently lost her mother, and we were setting up an appointment where I was to come and visit. And the Lord called her mother home. But God is a healer. God is a restorer, and God will touch your heart. Right. All of you who lost your mother, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is like to lose your mother. The closest thing I know is I lost my father in uh, 1996. And every day, I say during some part of the day, Daddy, I'm coming. I'm getting close to you, Daddy. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming home, Daddy. And so I want all of you who lost your mother to look forward to seeing your mother again on the other side. Father God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. God, I lift up Crystal and I lift up everyone standing and everyone watching who has lost their mother. We have declared your word that you are a mother to the mothers. Yes. And I pray, Lord, that you will give them comfort. You will show them your loyalty. You will show them that you're always there. That you will protect them as mother protected that you would wrap your divine, heavenly, spiritual arms around them. Oh God, I thank you for her. Lord, I thank you for everyone who has come, who is going on in Jesus' name and in Mama's name. Oh God, give us hope of heaven. Give us comfort in the great things in the past. Yes. And hold our hand in the way that only you can. This is our prayer. In the name above every name, the mighty master's name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. God's people said Amen. Let's give God a big hand. Amen. 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 And so now I present to you candidate for the councilwoman in the 35th district, Sister Crystal Hudson. Let's give her a Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, there were so many people who stood who lost their mothers. And somebody said earlier, Take your time. All right. Take your time. All right. All right. I know it's okay because somebody said earlier, if you need to cry, then cry. Right. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. And I could have asked Reverend Taylor not to come today, right? My mother's funeral was just last Saturday. But I came anyway. Amen. Amen. I know it was for a reason. I know it was to be here and to be comforted yes. and to be prayed for yes. and to be with others who know what I'm going through. Yes. Yes. So I, I thank you all for having me. Amen. Um, I'm Crystal Hudson. Amen. I'm running for city council in the 35th district which includes the neighborhoods of Fort Greene, Clinton Hill, Prospect Heights, Crown Heights, and a little bit of Bedford-Stuyvesant. Okay. I want to tell you why I'm running for city council and how I came into public service after I spent over 10 years working in sports marketing in a completely unrelated field. And that was because of my mother. Eight years ago, my mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. I was living in Washington, D.C and I came back home to care for my mother. I, I'm the only child of a single mother, and so I became my mother's primary caregiver, and that is what got me into public service. It was through my caregiving experience 
that I decided to get into public service to serve my community because I didn't want other families like mine to have to go through what my mother and I had to go through. I have seen firsthand how people like us do not get access to resources and services and programming and the care that we need. And I don't mean just the medical care. Yeah. My mother had the doctors. Yeah. My mother was a nurse herself. She was a nurse for over 40 years in New York City. But it felt like when it was time for my mother to receive care, there was none for her. And that is why I got into public service. That is why I'm running for city council, because I know the care that we each deserve. I know the love that we are all deserving of and we have not seen it. We haven't seen it from the government, and so I am here to make government more accessible for more of us. Yes, yes. I want to ensure that all of our kids, but particularly our black and brown kids, have access to a quality education, that those of us who are unemployed and underemployed have access to good jobs with good wages, that we all have access to safe and affordable housing, housing without Hazards, housing without lead and mold, housing that keeps us warm in the winter time and cool in the summer. And that as we age, as we get older, and as we reach the end of life, that we can do so safely at home as my mother was able to do, without fear of eviction or displacement or deep theft, whatever your situation may be. And so that is why I'm running for city council. I hope I can count on your support. The election is June 22nd. And I thank you all for be having me here today, for being here today. Happy Mother's Day to everyone, including those of us who have lost hours. Because as you said, Mama God is always with us. <laughs> My name is Crystal Hudson. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, let's give her a hand. You all right? You just on the telephone. You all right? 
if you listen to me on the telephone, call me and say, Pastor Taylor, I'm all right. If the line is busy, that's somebody else calling. When you get off, when you get off, call me and say, Pastor Taylor, I'm all right. If you're not all right, say that too. Because I want to know. I'm, I challenge you all. I don't want you to take that challenge. So I'm going to take my brother's challenge. Your brothers and sisters oftentimes are the biggest challenges to you. And this is a case where I think the Lord was speaking through my brother. I want to know if you're all right. So from right now, while we do the rest of this service, if you are right, write in and let me know. If you're not all right, let me know that too. Pastor Tellus is so so. I am not all right. And then let me know how I can reach you. Amen? Because Mama God is there for you. That's right. And I'm Mama God's representative. Amen. Amen. The church is Mama God's representative. Right. We want to make sure that you are all right. Did I say that clear? Yes. Okay. already checked in, but all of y'all, I want you to check in again and tell me that you're all right. Amen. Uh, Kim Jones, Sharon Kennedy, Sister Sadie Cooper, we're praying for you, Sister Cooper. We know you still ain't mourning over the loss of your daughter, and our prayers are with you. Sister Sharon Grafton, Jasmine Douglas, Sister Moore, Phyllis Pankey, Marjorie Mitchell, Sharon Lane, Brother Kearney, Priscilla Douglas, Brother Douglas, Reverend Brother Thompson, Diane Caldwell, J J Janice Flores, Courtney Lyons, Patricia Armand, Tijuana Riggins, Elaine Rabelais, Keisha Brick, Keisha, I'm praying for you. I know today is not an easy day for you, but Mama God is there. Annette Bennett, Reverend Young, Sister Young, Sandra Francois, Kalisha Bernash, Reverend McDonald, Crystal Jackson, Deacon Robinson, Samuel Gomez, Gomez Dawson, your deals the Vendiga. Uh, Jason Jackson, Annette Lyons, Francis Robinson, Deirdre White, Rosa Wilkerson, Deacon Cynthia Lee, Trina Cook, Letitia Stokely, Letitia Wright, Demetria Hendrickson, Von Prince, Pamela Ingram, Sister Kearney, the one and only Sister Iris Gray, right. Deacon Calloway, Newburgh, New York. Christine Carraway, Sharice Casnave. Is Sharice back from Mississippi? Yeah. Let's give God a hand. Sharice Casnave is back. Let's give one arm, the other arm got sick, and she got sick. But now she is back. Let's give God a hand. God is faithful. <laughs> Tasha Washington, Jesse Washington, out there in Pennsylvania. All right, y'all holding it down out there. Rihanna Palacios, a new mother. Is this Rihanna's first mother's day? Yeah. This is Rihanna's first mother's day. Let's give her a hand. Raynard Carraway, Professor Larry Banks, Naya Rose, Deborah Ainsley, Cherie Champlain, Makiba Bay, Rosemary Cook, Scott Edmondson, Teresa McCurkin, Roberta Christian down in South Carolina, Kat Karen Kelly, Ed Brown, Dr. Macbeth, Dakota Barnes, Kimberly Clark, Debbie Ann, Doreen Lyons, Elisa Washington, Precious Green. All right, granddaughter, that's my granddaughter, I think, Precious Green. Is that my <coughs> Is that no, no. Oh, that ain't Natalie's daughter? That ain't my granddaughter, Preston. Sorry, Preston. I have a granddaughter named Preston. I thought she was too many. Teresa Relish, getting all happy. Amen. Gladys Ellington, Diana DeSosa, Tracy Dickinson, Carolyn Taylor, Jeremy Taylor, Jennifer Orlando, 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 Jennifer
We're going to bring last year's mother. Who was last year's mother? It was uh, Sister Bobby. We're going to bring Sister Bobby Haynes. Let's give her a big hand. Uh, we are, we are come on, come on, Bobby Haynes. Okay, let's get some spread. Let's have a protocol. Come on over here, Bobby Haynes. She's with her husband, Deacon Haynes. Let's give him a hand. Come on, Deacon Haynes. Amen. Come on, stand with her, protect her. Hey, you know, mother's dead. All right. All right. Test. Amen. All honor, all glory, and all power of the Most High Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I have the pleasure to introduce the 2021 recipient for the Mother of the Year Award. The 2021 recipient. For the Mother of the Year Award goes to a God-fearing woman who has dedicated her life to being a mother, sister, aunt, grandmother, godmother, and a true friend. She's a native Brooklynite, born and raised and worked in downtown Brooklyn area. Graduated from Lafayette High School and attended college. She gave her life to Christ at Noonday Prayer Service at Marine Baptist Church then joined the Church of the Open Door and served on the SIS ministry, the Sound and Media Ministry, and well known for assisting in being the photographer for our summer in the sanctuary services. Her favorite scripture is Psalms 18. Her children can recall hearing this scripture being recited daily as she records herself reciting and memorizing it, along with playing her gospel music. She is a poet and loves to send out her daily inspirational words to many. This year, May 9th, 2021, Mother of the Year Award goes to no other than... Hey, oh, give me a try, bro. This year, May 9th.
that Denise talked about is Denise's sister. What's your sister's name? Karen. Karen contracted cancer. She passed away. Karen had three children. Kalisha, Karima, and Lawrence. At the age of how old? The age of 22. Would you let her tell us <laughs> at the age of 21 or 20? No, 23. At the age of 23. Oh, right, I was 21. <laughs> this is how you got to do this. At the age of 21, she was faced with what was she going to do. Her sister had passed. She accepted the challenge and raised these three children. Now, I will tell you, because Kalisha is my goddaughter, she raised them with a mother's love. She educated them, she nourished them, she took them to museums and parks and made sure that they lacked nothing. all of her children. They have children that are excellent parents. And this is a strong, strong family because of her sacrifice and her love. So today's Mother of the Year, non-traditional, but really very traditional, is our own sister Denise Evans. Of his word. 
And if you need him, he's there for you. As a man in this church, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm blessed to be a member of the best church in the whole wide world, the Church of the Holy Spirit. All right. When the woman in your page reminded me when the women got together to vote who should receive this great distinction from the woman of the year, they could think of no one better than Sister Denise Evans. Mother of the year, mother of the year. Let's give her a hand. Amen. Come on, let's play a music on stage.
some of the special moments you had with your mother. Times when you laughed, times when she smiled, times when she taught you, times when she disciplined you. Yeah. Uh, something happened to me one day, and I was grown, I never forget, I was in my early 20s, maybe 20, maybe 19. But I came in and I told my mother, and she said, come here. She made me lie down on the couch. She put her hand on me and prayed for me. She said, you just need to be still. Just lay here. But she sat right next to me. Put her hand on me. And after I want to get up, she said, no, you're not finished. Stay still. And at the end, she just put her hand on me. Mama God, I found out after almost 40 years here, and definitely 40 years in the ministry, I found out a lot of people have no idea what a father is because they've never seen it, they never experienced it. But almost all of us know what a mother is.